All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to take some time now that I've uh, had this workbench for, I don't know, going on 10 years, um, to talk about my experience with it and do sort of a review of the 2x4 Basics workbench kit. Um, I'll just do a quick overview of sort of how I set it up and what my workbench looks like. I've got the top with two storage shelves underneath for all kinds of uh, goodies. And then I built the uh, top storage shelf. Um, the brackets are what you're buying when you buy the 2x4 basic kit. All right, so that top bracket um, and then the leg brackets that's the big piece that actually builds the workbench itself um, I've been pretty happy it's it's obviously not a custom workbench but it does the job um, I've got a, a list of what my pros and cons are essentially for this setup on the on the pros side it's very easy to assemble you get these um, really heavy-duty black pla plastic legs um, and as the package so there's four legs um, and if you buy the top kit you get the pieces that make those shelves in the package so that's it you can order it off Amazon um, it's about 70 bucks I think and comes to your front door and then you make it custom the way you want uh, you can get whatever kind of wood you want, cheap, expensive, um, and the rest is up to you. You can make it whatever size you want for the most part. I mean, given the sheet of a plywood, that's basically your, your limitation, um, unless you wanted to put a couple pieces together and have some kind of a seam through it. But, um, yeah, it's very custom uh, sized. I probably made mine a little bit too big. I probably would have gone a little bit shallower on the depth uh, if I was going to do this again, but it's a great starting point. Um, so it's inexpensive, it's customizable, it's easy to assemble, it comes to your front door. Those are all the pros. Um, on the con side, you know, it lacks a lot of the features of a custom workbench, obviously, because it really isn't. Things like um, you know, clamping space. Um, it's really not set up to be a woodworker's bench, more of a generalist uh, home DIY bench, which it does a great job at. But, um, you know, if you're an experienced woodworker looking for all those intricacies of a uh, specialized workbench, this probably isn't for you. Um, given the way that these shelves are set up, down here, you kind of get limited storage space because you have, you know, three two by fours essentially standing um, on their edge, taking away from the storage capacity. So you lose a little bit there. Um, it's not a huge deal breaker, but it is something to keep in mind. You also don't have any leg room. You know, if you wanted to sit at this table. Uh, on a stool or something it's a little awkward because you don't have a spot for your knees now I'm sure somebody could redesign those shelves so that they have a, a notch out um, it would just require some additional support of 2x4s running um, depth wise to support your shelf in a, in a cutout configuration so it's doable it's just not quite as uh, right out of the box ready. Um, the height comes predetermined because of the um, black you know, plastic corners that are supporting the entire workbench are at a fixed height. Um, I think I measured it and it was about 35 inches tall which comes up to basically my, uh, my pocket on my pants when I'm standing so for a taller person it could be a little taller um, but again not a deal breaker uh, just something to point out other things that I'd put on my sort of con side of the list 
is um, these um, these shelves up here. I'm not sure whether I like it or not. After all these years, I definitely use it, but it seems to just be cluttered up. Um, you could do it a different way. You don't have to use that um, secondary shelf for collecting items like I do. You could just do a top if you want, um, or even not a top. But um, again, it's all up to you when you build it. The way I did this, the dimensions overall, just to give you some perspective, it's eight feet wide. It's three feet deep. I used three quarter inch nice uh, finished plywood on the top uh, for the work surface. And on the shelves below, I used um, cheaper particle board because I didn't care about how it looked so much. I did have to add a little bit extra two by four supports under there to uh, help that particle board hold the weight. Um, the way I did this top shelf was just two by fours running lengthwise from the brackets. If I was going to do this again, I would probably change that design um, just because I don't like having the uh, unevenness of two by fours up here. I'd probably just do, I don't know, um, a sheet of nice plywood with some kind of support underneath but not critical obviously I just pile lots of crap up there anyway so uh, not that big of a deal so takeaway uh, overall it's a great entry-level workbench um, I would get it again you know anybody who's gonna be putting their first workbench in their garage or whatnot uh, this would probably be a great design for you but if you're really looking to get uh, technical features out of a workbench and do some uh, specific kind of um, projects, it might be better to custom build one. Uh, that's kind of why I'm doing this review, is I'm now probably looking at building a uh, custom bench that's got a lot more uh, features to accommodate my projects in the future. So, hope this was helpful for you. If you're interested in the 2x4 Basics kit, uh, check it out on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, just thought I'd give my honest review of what it was like. Alright, take care.